Hi everyone, I'm Uko Francis Art. On this drawing illustration, I want to show you how to draw or make a realistic drawing. Though I will not be drawing the full, uh, the full drawing, but I will just be drawing a portion of the entire drawing. So, um, I would like to make, first of all, I would like to make a list of the drawing materials uh, I'll be, that I used in drawing this, uh, I used in making this drawing. So, let's get started. First of all, you have to make available um, drawing, blending stump, uh, your graphite pencil, and uh, your Paint brush or watercolor brush. Um, okay. So, the aim of this drawing illustration is to make you understand the various steps in drawing in this manner. So, let it, uh, um, our drawing materials, as I've said before, um, but here I'll be using um, graphite. Ash mostly. I'll be having a um, graphite, uh, I'll be having a blending stump on my graphite ash. So, uh, to see the full entire drawing, you, um, you have to watch the other tutorials and also on your notification to, to get um, notified when I'm posting a new drawing illustrations. So, um, well, here is our focus. So let's um, uh, 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 um, get started without wasting your time. So, um, first of all, you have to you have to use your blending stump. Most times I don't like drawing with pencil. I just go ahead and uh, apply um, blending stump. I just dab my blending stump on my graphite ash and I begin to add values or make portions of drawings. But um, for beginners, um, I would like to give you some tips. Uh, I would like to show you some nice tips. Uh, I will make your drawing go easy. Um, first of all, if you're a beginner, um, you, you will have to sketch out the, the, the drawing, the image you're drawing. So for professionals, you have to draw directly or steam a sketch or probably scale for beginners. So here, I'm not scaling, I'm not, um, I'm not uh, drawing a uh, um, sketch, I will just be drawing directly, adding my values and um, uh, um, going forward. So but for beginners, Make sure you sketch your image. Make sure you, you get your graphite ash ready and um, tackle ash of dust. Ready. And also make your pen, graphite pencil available. You can go ahead with that one pencil, or probably you can use a um, 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 stead lithograph. So um, let's 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 see what we have here. So um. Drawing, skin texture is an artistic um, uh, uh, um, feat. Yeah, it's an artistic feat because you have to practice and practice until you start getting it. Alright? So it's not a day job. But, but I'll try and make it as easy and as possible. Let's start by making some nice skin textures. So, here is a skin texture. If you draw skin texture, I will classify them in three steps. First of all, you you go around with your paint brush. Yes, you go around with your paint brush. You rub your your paint. Your you use your paint brush to to collect some graphite ash, not charcoal, but graphite ash, and you rub it all over the portion where you want to make the skin texture okay, so when you've done that you now 
we're going to um, um, make some some dots not probably dots but um well i call it skin tone but your skin flows you make skin flows you use um your your dirty lawn or use your blending stump if you have your blending stump or your graphite ash and you rub just to make your skin tones of the, the skin tone is like the, the dots here yeah, you see as i'm doing it on this um video tutorial um you do also anyway if you want to follow and get um make it easier for you to learn faster um make sure you get your materials available and you, you you draw as you see me do on this video tutorial um so so as i was saying you uh, you can uh, uh, make your dots first on the under layer of the uh, skin on, on the layer of the of the of the of the ash that you've applied with your paint brush the ash you've applied with your with your watercolor brush or anyone so you make um you make you draw your skin two dots as does not purely dot it's not actually a dot well. it's just um it just it looks like a dot so you just make, make sure you, you make it as a line something something like a line so do you, you draw according to the flows of the skin because we have different kind of skins so drawing different people which require you drawing different and studying their skin to actually enable you to get their skin flows so but here yeah, i'm drawing an, an african boy so africans have um their unique kind of skin tones so i'll be dabbing uh, my dummy stump i'm making the accurate skin tones you see, going in hyperrealistic style is, uh, is, 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 is more of you keeping focus. As an artist, you have to see what other, what um, a, mere, a mere viewer, a person cannot uh, see. Um, you have to draw in intricate details. You, you understand? So, so you, have, you have to focus on what you are trying to actually get the full details that is what that is what it means to join the factories to try to actually enable you to get that photo realistic drawing that you desire for so long so so uh, i'm doing the next step i'll jump to the next step so the next step is to draw when you um i mean when you're when you're done with applying the dots on your skin tone you have to go over it again with your graphite brush to get the skin tone. Although I've done um, 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 a lot of videos on um, drawing um, in uh, upper realism and drawing um, various skin tones and uh, drawing and even painting painting landscape but here um, I, will, I will advise you to check those videos but, but here we are drawing skin tones so skin tones in hyper realistic style uh, we, are, we, are, we are trying to make a pure clear drawing right so so let's let's continue so as i was saying uh you go over it again with your paint brush with your watercolor brush or whatever you made available but we'll make sure you're using a soft um brush you don't use a hard brush because you mess up the entire drawing so we use a sabo brush, probably yeah, probably a sabo brush, sabo paint brush. So when you're done with that, when you're I'm talking about the second step. Uh when you when you go back with again with your with your paint brush, rubbing your graphite ash on your paint brush and applying it again on 
your on the dot head surface. The third head or the third stage is to begin to draw highlights and that require um, 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 focus. Look at the image very well. Look into the image and identify the dots in the skin you're trying to draw. So, and make highlights with your eraser. Your eraser, oh my, oh, I didn't talk about that. Um, your eraser, you need to make a better one. Um, 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 needed eraser here. Yeah, I'm um, using needed eraser for, and um, a normal eraser. So, but needed eraser is small, it's more prescribed. Um, I would prescribe um, needed eraser because it's a, it's a very nice artistic eraser and um, it's, it's sharp. You can shape it into any shape you want to enable you get the right the right dots or highlights you want to make so um let's continue using our needed eraser um if you don't have needed eraser you can as well you can as well um get it on any artistic um uh, any graphic support shop or any artistic uh shop where you sell artistic materials in your region or country uh, or if you can get it, you can also go for Tombow Mono, but um, yeah, I'm not using Tombow Mono Zero. I'm, uh, I'm using needed eraser. But Tombow Mono Zero is a is a, is a is also a nice uh, nice drawing eraser for making hyper realistic, realistic drawing like this uh, or realistic drawing, right? So when we're done with that, the fourth stage. Or uh, probably the first stage if you want to. Uh, here uh, I've been making a live drawing, so I, I, I didn't actually do that or to you know drawing and state. So um, you have to go over it again. <laughs> so that is no going over it again for the for the fourth for the second time. Going over it again for the second time, you have to have to use your your tortigon to highlight the, the um to draw the to punch out I mean punch out those white highlights so this um fourth stage depends on kind of skin tones you're trying to draw or trying to get um all right um I will allow you to enjoy the full drawing. I will, I will allow you to, to go over it again and again. I'll practice. Uh, but for now, I will, I will allow you to, to enjoy the full drawing. So make sure you don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'll be doing a lot of a lot and a lot of tutorials here on YouTube. So you to follow you on or, or get to understand some certain things in drawing you don't have to watch only a video so make sure you click your notification box uh, to get notified anytime i'm posting that's very important so that you can get the full scope and we can also check on other drawing channels here online to actually take your drawing career to the next level right so thanks fans i hope you enjoyed this video i will advise you to watch for more watch for more drawing illustrations like this right see you next time